Hey everybody, Steve here, and uh, welcome to another Explorer. And as we're walking up to this house, I call this the abandoned horse farm house, as it used to be an old horse farm. And boy, is this one massive. Yes, it is this big, and the size is almost under the mansion category, in my opinion. Um, but uh, we're going to do a quick walk around outside the house before we go in. So hang in there, folks. You will be able to see the inside. I'm just giving you a quick outside look here. But as we're walking outside, a little history on the home. Um, the original part of this home, which is still intact, as you can see, I'm walking up to it right now. And the stone little structure here in the middle was built in the late 1700s. The remaining of the house was put together in 1850. Um, as I said, it's a, it was an old horse farm, and they raised horses in the barn out back, which will be at the end of the video. And the so the last known owner uh, was an old lady, and when she grew old, she lived in the kitchen of the home, and her grandkids or her family ended up living with her and took care of her. But when she passed away, her uh, grandkids took over the home and did not, I guess, want to maintain it. So they put up for sale for 4.5 million U.S. dollars. Yes, that's right, 4.5 million U.S. dollars. It's 45 acres of property here. Uh, and of course, it was in the worst time of 2008 when nobody wanted to buy anything and it just sat abandoned. But a developer was interested in the home and actually put stakes to subdivide the land. But I don't even think that they even went any further because it's been nothing's really been going on for years. So. Um, the house is real moldy, and as you're going to see when we do the inside tour as we're going in right now, it, 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 it kind of sad to see this place, and this is pretty cool because it's one of these ones where there's a lot of stuff inside, uh, and other scary, or not scary, but eerie feeling was the power was still on. So whoever's paying the electric bill has not been back to this house in years or and has no clue exactly what this house is going through because it's broken into, windows are broken, doors are open, things falling apart. Um, so... They obviously don't know and or don't care anymore about how this house is. So uh, it's been abandoned for many years, or vacant in other words. So I'm going to be talking in and out as we tour this house here. Uh, I screwed up my microphone settings, so I needed to kind of turn the mics down because there's a lot of noise in the mic. So um, guys, I hopefully enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'll be talking in and out in a couple of spots. So enjoy. We're walking into the kitchen here, and this was kind of one of the, well, I guess, one of the first things I saw, and I was kind of like, uh, is somebody in this house? Because, I mean, there's stuff everywhere. There's an old beehive oven, uh, which was really cool, a brick oven. But, I mean, there was, there's stuff on the counters, there's unopened bills, there's food in the cabinets. Um, the expiration dates were all 2008 and nine, which is... Uh, most likely when the last thing I did see is some 2010 bills on the, on the counter, which I'm surprised he even left that. Cool refrigerator, built-in fridge with the refrigeration unit above. Uh, but yeah, you can see the time or the, the electric is still on, which was one of the eeriest things for me when I was in this home. Walking into the dining room here, some really neat colonial style wallpaper. Something you don't typically see a lot. Dining room table has been flipped over, and you can see some moving boxes that they attempted to move out, but lots of peeling paint though, and you can see the mold on the walls, and it's pretty bad. This is the main living area, and what kind of was weird is you know, there's a couple chairs set up and an exercise bike. Not sure exactly if it's like a squatter was in this house or there's a bunch of people hanging out in the house. Um, that was kind of an odd thing to see. But and here's the main foyer area here with the stairs and fireplace. There's a fireplace in almost every room, as all the old style homes. That's really the source of heat they had, so they really had a fireplace in almost every room.
we're walking up to the second floor here where all the uh, bedrooms are and other miscellaneous rooms. Um, I'm not a big fan of this colored room, very green in other words. So, but obviously one of the bedrooms, again, another fireplace. The windows, it's hard to tell, you can kind of see it in the mirror here. There were a lot of moisture in this house, humidity, which is definitely not helping the mold problem in this home. So, but this this is really cool, by the way. I It's kind of neat to see the vines, how they grew through the window and attached themselves to the ceiling of this uh, room here. It was really cool to see. Um, you can see here some of the moisture on the windows. Every window was like this. So, definitely neat to see. This is obviously walking into here, the hallway shot, and then this pink room. It must have been a, the girls' room. A lot of pink, nothing really left inside of here some curtains here's and other the, uh, things no other things but batteries. again another fireplace like I said every room's got a fireplace walking back to the back side of the house here and I'm not sure what that is like a little stove something like that I'm sure but here's another room uh, kind of neat looking wallpaper flower wallpaper love the wood flooring now I like that cherry color wood and then uh, this house is like a maze I, I, I didn't like film 100% walking through but it is like I said a massive house and there's a lot of rooms so and this was another big room and that stairway went down into the kitchen area which is usually a butler staircase uh, you just saw clothes in that closet there, which was another thing like, you know, somebody living in this house, like a squatter or something, because there's clothes and ties and everything on there. Uh, so someone could have been living in it, but uh, now we're headed up to the attic, which is said to be the most haunted spot of the house, as I'm told, but uh, I did not experience anything while I was here. That's just the attic. Pretty small. That's why you gotta turn your phones off, folks. There's no way. These are the dangerous stairs down to the basement, which we're headed down to right now. And yes, the, the, the basement stairways. Uh, I did not go down those stairs because I just felt like I was gonna fall down there, so I went down another way. This is the basement. Alright, I got in the basement. Just to make everybody happy. Nothing really down here. Pretty empty. Newer style, style, excuse me, looks like gas maybe? Uh, newer, newer water heater at that time. It looks like a workshop here and the obviously the warped wood from the moisture now this is really cool and sorry for the shadow my lens is in flashlight the lens is in front of the flashlight as you can see but this looks like a water treatment type of thing for probably for the well water um, which is kind of a cool looking thing to see how it's in that corner there I believe it's water treatment you guys can comment and correct me if I'm wrong it looks like a pump right there so and then uh, well, and this must be tanks. more purifier or filters well in other here. words for the well. So now we're done with the house and we're back outside to the barn that's behind the house. And this was a sure horse barn. This one. And I'll get you up closer to look at this. Kind of a cool looking barn now. I really like the architecture of this one, the red and everything. But this is for, this was 45 acres of uh, land. So there was a lot of horse fields and uh, they raised horses here. That's why it's got its name, the Horse Farmhouse.
pretty cool looking barn. Well, this about concludes the tour of this house. One of the, my favorite houses that I've been to. Um, I got pictures coming up, so please stay tuned for those, everybody. And thank you for watching. And hope to see you on my next video. Again, I should have another one up in about two weeks. Uh, this one, there's another cool house coming up. It's called the Abandoned Pond House. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my website, all listed in the description below. See ya.